So today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how you can cut out any piece of aluminum using a hacksaw. Let's go get started. So let's talk about what tools you're going to need. Uh, of course you're going to need your piece of aluminum. In my case I'm going to be using a piece of aluminum U-channel or C-channel. You're going to need a hacksaw. Uh, I recommend between 18 and 24 uh, teeth. Um, it, it tends to be a, a good kind of middle range for cutting up uh, aluminum. You're going to want yourself a square, permanent marker, some sort of measuring tape. And then you're going to want some sort of metal file after or sandpaper to clean it off. I'd also highly suggest you get yourself a bench vise. So let's talk about actually measuring out your part. I'm trying to cut this piece down into a, a three length piece. So I actually want to get 96 mil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tape measure out. And using my permanent marker, I'm going to find my 96 millimeter and I'm going to put my Sharpie pen on the outside of my line. So if 96 gets me to here, I'm gonna have to choose a spot that I'll actually be able to mark on. And I wanna mark on the outside of my line so that you can see that as I'm lined up here, I'm right on the edge of that 96 mil. Then I'm gonna grab my square. Oops, I'll zoom in a little. Next, I'll grab my square. I'll line myself up on that line. And with my square, I wanna make sure I'm nice and lined up here along the top edge. And of course, I'm using a square surface, so a square works. I'm gonna draw my line down. I'm gonna rotate, do the same thing on my top line so that I can have my line nice and straight all the way across. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can make sure that I'm actually cutting through straight across all of my pieces because I have this gigantic section in the middle um, that's going to make it difficult to know where my parts are. Now that I'm all marked out, I can head on over to my bench vise. So when I, I want to make sure I clamp my material in so that I have a nice, really solid surface to work off of. You don't, of course this is aluminum, so you don't want to clamp too hard. You want to make sure you're about square across the top and square across the bottom. You obviously don't want to clamp like so, or like so, or you're going to end up running into some problems. So I actually like to get down to be able to see to make sure that I am relatively square. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it is going to make your life one heck of a lot easier later on. Next thing I'm going to check as I'm grabbing my cut, I'm going to have one hand on top of my hacksaw, one hand on the bottom. I want to make sure that I'm in a nice stable position for what I'm cutting. I don't want to be lackadaisically cutting. Um, you want to be cutting in a nice stable position so that when you actually start, um, you're able to actually get some motion into this. First thing I'm going to do when I'm cutting through aluminum is I want to make something called a groove cut or a starter cut. If you look at the teeth on a hacksaw, the teeth on a hacksaw actually cut when I push forward, not when I pull back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up on my edge here and I don't want to cut off my marking. I'm just going to push very, very slightly, very, very lightly here just to start my groove point. And you can see right here that I have a very small cut in here. And this is kind of my starting guide so that I know where it is I'm going to be going. And now I'm always checking against my lines to make sure that I'm not going to be cutting on a big angle. So now I'm more free to actually start tilting my saw down as I go. Again, letting the saw do the work here. I'm not doing much pushing. And I'm also being careful not to torque my saw left and right. So my saw, the paint is actually getting in the way. So I actually have to file off a bit of the paint here. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take myself a metal file and I'm just gonna pull back on these sharp edges so that I don't have anything that's going to cut myself with. All right. 
And that is a nice looking square cut. So that's how you cut yourself a piece of aluminum channel. I hope that helps uh, with your project and uh, best of luck with building your next robot.